Hello. So it turned out that on YouTube there wasn't really a video of uh, room 9170 on the Norwegian Jade. So here we are to show you it. Um, this is a mini cruise on June 29th 2018 out of Southampton to Hamburg. So uh, we're just going to go around to the room here which is in a nice quiet corner of the ship. So the only thing around the corner here is just some crew doors. So therefore, it's totally isolated. There's no noise of people going past and things. Uh, there's a useful thing here where you say welcome or do not disturb, etc. So I'll hand make my room up. So in we go. And here we are in suite 9170. Um, I'll just give you a brief glimpse of the whole room. Sorry, here there I am in the mirror. Uh, that, that mirror is wonderful. It makes the place feel really sort of airy. Um, also, of course, being a suite, it is large and airy because you've got all of this, the telly there, um, the inevitable uh, coffee pod machine. And uh, I'll just show you right from the front door here. So there's just a little bit here. I'm not sure why you would use that. Um, this is a wardrobe. Now, this wardrobe's interesting because it's got doors on both sides. So I'll show you from this side and you can see we can see everything in this wardrobe easily it's all lit up so you can see what's going on there of course the life jackets and things um, the doors on the other side are a bit of an anathema but we'll come to those uh, so I'll just go round to there just to show you more of the room so here is a little dressing area um, and here are doors to that same wardrobe on the other side the only thing is if you use this side it's like the black hole of Calcutta. You, you can hardly see what's going on. I can, I can hardly make out the shoes at the bottom there. Um, so it's far better to go into that wardrobe from the other side. Um, oh, the ship provides you with uh, the inevitable dressing gown. But unlike almost all other ships, these actually fit fat people like me. Um, they're a decent size. It's, it's unbelievable. Um, oh, and there's of course, my wife loves this, uh, the inevitable slippers, hotel slippers, two pairs. So that's great stuff. Um, now at the end here, this is a nice little area for, it was certainly for my wife putting makeup on, um, nicely lit, a great mirror here, and uh, hair dryer of course. And then in here we have the bathroom. Just turn the light on there. Okay, and as I say, it truly is a bathroom. Unlike most ships, you get a proper bath. Now, <laughs> This bath, it's true, it's a little bit challenging for sort of people of a larger build, but on the other hand, it's nice and deep, so um, you, you can, well, you can have a decent bath. When it comes to sort of like trying to rinse your hair, you've got to put your feet up to try and get down under the water, but other than that, that's grand. There's a shower there. Oh, they supply with all these very fancy, um, what's that brand name, Bulgari, um, shower gels and body lotions and things that's all very nice um, the toilet is just in here now one of the curious thing about this toilet is this door there's a door here so there's a door for the toilet but it's completely glass so what's the purpose of that it's not for modesty and so what is it trying to prevent I, I, if answers on a postcard if you can work that one out um, so here we go, back round into the room. Now this bed, this is one of the comfiest beds in a boat we've ever slept on. Uh, this re really is a, an excellent, excellent bed. It's got the, just exactly the right kind of mattress. Um, very comfortable sleeping. There's this little sofa which is lovely. If, if you're just sat here, I'll just show you the view out the window. So, I mean, you can be sat on the little sofa here and just enjoy the view out. Because it's a sweet, you've, unusually got this large table and four chairs which was perfect for having breakfast in the room so uh, and because it's a suite you have your own butler and you can arrange to have him come in and uh, serve you breakfast there's a huge selection of things make sure oh yeah when you come to the breakfast make sure to check in here whoops it is there's a, a room service uh, menu here that's got more detail on it than the actual slips that you fill in to order the breakfast. So make sure to read that first. Now I've just got this little thing on the floor. So I'll just pop those back up there. Um, yeah, great TV system. The 
TV isn't the most advanced system for a cruise ship. It doesn't do all your accounting things. Um, there is a couple of decent movie channels on it though. W one thing that slightly annoyed me about this TV was the fact that um, the time there, see that says 8.47. This is not 8.47. In fact, actually this clock they give you it, is really good. Um, the butler puts it on an hour when we're going forward and so on. And um, it was actually useful as an alarm clock. But in theory, you're supposed to be able to use the TV as an alarm clock. But as long as the TV has the long date and time, that won't work. So that's something to keep an eye out for. Um, yes. Just to add that um, the power sockets in this room are American type. So if you've got an adapter, don't bring a Euro adapter, and it isn't English, you have to have an American adapter. Uh, that's caught me out. But the saviour of that is the fact that this TV, if you look down the side here, oh, where are we? There. has a couple of USB sockets. And as you can see down here, I'm currently using them to charge the phone and actually this one's for this camera so um, if you don't have the right power adapters you can still charge things but as far as I can see oh yeah there is an extra USB socket in the room do you see this um, phone that they give you in the room it plugs into the bottom of this light fitting well that's a USB so if um, you want to plug something else in there you can just plug it in the bottom of that lamp and that will charge as well I think that will cover that So here we are, as I say we've got um, the inevitable Nespresso pod machine and uh, down here we've got the inevitable fridge, a few of our extras in here. One thing to point out is that um, one of the benefits of the suite is that they give you a bottle of, well it's kind of okay fizzy one, I mean that isn't actually champagne but it'll do <laughs> and uh, I believe if you actually manage to drink it then they will replenish it on the following days though how you could drink that much I, I don't really know um, so we'll just take a look out on the size of the balcony let's open the door here Oops, Desi. And it's quite noisy out here of course there's the uh, Just give you one sunbed here. In fact, I'm going to go back in to talk because um, it's quite noisy outside. In fact, I will just close the door for the time being. Yeah, one sunbed, uh, but two chairs. It, it's quite a reasonably sized balcony. I mean, again, it's a suite, and you kind of expect to get a decent balcony. It's not the biggest balcony ever, but it's more than adequate for two people. Um, and there we have it. I think that pretty much gives you a view of what this room is like. I hope this has found this useful. Goodbye. Okay, just one detail to add about room 9170. It's a lovely room, it's really big, but there is one thing that's just slightly um, annoying about it. And I don't know if we'll be able to hear it here. I'm just going to stand here by this door, which is uh, crew only electrical. Can you hear that knocking noise? We don't know what that knocking noise is, but believe me, you're fairly aware of it all through the night, and it can really ruin your sleep. So that's something to bear in mind if you're picking this room.